What is up everybody, my name is Tony and I'm here with another Warframe Guide video. In this video we will be looking at the Envoy Valbon Prime Hybrid. And what that means is we'll look at one Warframe ability that definitely works well with Valbon. Maybe two if you guys want to replace it. Before we even get into anything, I just want to say that with the Angie being black, I think it's best for that demonstration I'm about to show you guys. So those of you that's very light sensitive, you guys won't get hurt from the lights. Usually these will be green, but for now I'm just going to do it black. And with the attachments, well, let's do a quick look at the attachments. Alright, so that's what it looks like on my Valbon. I'm going to show you guys the weapon set for Telos first before we get into the build. And here it is right here, starting with the Botor with the ribbon. Just a heads up, this rivet's made for my Primed and not for my Telos uh, Botor, so just keep in mind about that, but I just replaced it just in case for the extra damage it does here, as well as the status chance it has. Because this weapon does not like status chance, but even though it does not like status chance, I just added it in as well. And here it is for the build, by acceleration for fast fire rate, so that way does a lot of viral and hunter munition stuff going on there because it does have a really good uh, critical chance right here that's why. For those that do not have a ribbon this is what it looks like. All right the Akimbo Bolto ribbon multi-shot damage and status chance really really nice on the status chance at 108 right here it's pretty good with lethal momentum for the projectile speed because this weapon is all about projectile speed on this with elimination of that you guys will have a really good gun here. For those that do not have a ribbon this is what it looks like Voltaise, Ribbon, Grenier, Toxin, and Puncture, really, really nice. Prime Reach is really good here as well for the passive ability to gather, I believe, stuff around, so it's pretty nice. And then you got the Prime Pressure Point here. Now, usually you want to put Condition Overload here, but I, since I have a build here that's pretty, pretty good, I'm just going to put Pressure Point right here for now. For those that do not have a Ribbon for this build, I have the Condition Overload instead. Alright, so I only got one build for you guys, like I said before, and one Warframe ability that definitely works here well is going to be the Thermal Sunder because of its uh, radius, duration, and not the damage, but just the radius and duration. It's pretty, pretty nice. The damage is mediocre, I would say, but it's better than the blast damage the Photon Strike does, as well as the radius of the Photon Strike is at least pretty, pretty small, like around 20 or something. And duration, yeah, there's no duration on that, but duration on this actually gives that extra damage per second type of thing. So this is just a complete upgrade. If you guys do not like Thermal Sunder, I think Breach Surge will also work pretty damn well actually here as well. Because of the blind as well as the CC it does. So you guys can take a pick, Thermal Sunder for the quick kills or the Breach Surge for higher level stuff. But since I don't really play Valbon on Steel Path or anything in the high levels, I usually just play Valbon for the stalling. That's why I have the range here as well as the duration a little bit here with the Bastille or Repel and Bastille. For the mods here, uh, for the aura mods, you guys can put whatever you guys want. Steel charge to growing power, and then just siphon whatever you guys want. Power drip is a must have for the, well, breach surge or thermal sunder. Same thing with overextended for the uh, breach surge because obviously you need more range. And auger secrets definitely must have. Now, due to the amount of spamming you guys do, the auger set here will give you the shield as well as prime flow is needed here for the spamming because you will be spamming Bastille or the Vortex actually mainly. But still, maybe if you guys are going to be using Thermal Sunder, because it works pretty well. Think about it like this. Thermal Sunder at 31.8 meters. Everyone that's getting bestowed is only at around 26 meters. So basically, you'll be nuking everybody that's been bestowed already. So casting bestow and Thermal Sunder, you just nuke. It's pretty nice, because they also take damage, I believe. We're stripping the armor when they, when they do uh, bestow. So it's pretty good, pretty good. And then when it comes to the Mind Layer, I mainly use the Flechette Orb, if I say the name right, because the damage scales on enemy level, basically or if I'm right on that, and it's pretty nice. So on level 80 Heavy Gunners, you do around 2,000 damage, even though this says here 369. When it comes to the Tesla Norvros, I don't really use it that much. I use it once in a while if I feel like it, because I mean, it's Pokeballs right there. It's pretty nice, it's pretty fun to play with. I actually don't use it though, for performance-wise. All right, so I want to show you guys the build here, and that's level 80 Heavy Gunners, because usually when you guys are using this build, it's not really made for Steel Path. You guys can probably stall for your teammates to be a team player, Otherwise, when it comes to soloing Steel Path, it's not that great. I mean, if you guys have strong weapons, sure. I mean, you guys could straight up just stall with Vortex and such and just win and all the, all the way. But if you were, like, let's say doing some crazy, crazy Steel Path stuff, I don't think it's the best way to go. Maybe for Breach Surge, but for the Thermal Sunder, it's great for just Fissures. So I'm going to show you guys this right now. I'm going to use the Vortex. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the Flechette Orb. It's 21, so you guys can see the damage. Like I said, it scales on enemy level pr pretty much. It does 1,000 damage or some of so. I see 100 somewhere. I'm going to be blind here. Alright, let's go straight for the Thermal Sunder. 
if the ability stacks or the fire damage stacks, so you guys can spam this all day and just wipe off 80s. No problem. Obviously, lower levels take less recasts than usual, but it's good enough. And you got Tesla Novros, let's just go ahead and spam that. See how much damage it does. Yeah, it's not that great. Obviously, these guys are Grenier's. Let's try with the Thermal Sunder and Bastille for those that is curious on that. All right, so I want to show you guys the Bastille. I'm just going to cast it here. All right, so let's go ahead and do the Thermal Sunder now. Again, it takes a few casts because of the armor stripping, but it's decent enough. That's my bolter right there. All right, so that's basically the end of this video. It's pretty straightforward. It's just an upgrade of the full-time strike my build is. So nothing special about this build, but it's great for, well, it's pretty interesting, I would say. So if you guys like this video, give it a like. Subscribe to support my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, you guys, peace out.